What's going on, my truckers? I welcome my trucker news. Email us at my trucker news at gmail.com. I appreciate everybody. Want to bring this up so that you guys can know about this. Uh, back in the day, when you would get your CDL, you would have to go through all the motions, and the hardest part of it all was one man, it was hard to alley dock, right? And definitely parallel. And the second part of that is that pre trip inspection, you're just going through crack, bent, and broken. I remember it like it was yesterday. But it was just so hard to memorize. And if you did not pass all these things, you would not get your CDL. And my disclaimer to that is even when I went out and got my CDL, I still didn't know crap. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. It takes years to really get good at this. Well, guess what? They took away the alley dock. They took away the parallel parking. Uh... They're giving you a cheat sheet study guide checklist so that you can actually go around on this pre-trip inspection and start checklisting off all things on a cheat sheet manual paper that you're going to be able to use during the test. Are they making this easier or what? And they're saying this is for safety. The truckers, comment down below what are your thoughts about that. Let's get into this here. Uh, Georgia is implementing this now. They're still using the traditional way, but they're changing over to the modernized skill testing for this and the things that we're going to be talking about here. So, uh, my truckers, again, disclaimer, every state's going to be a little different. But, yep, what are your thoughts? Let's get into this. So, the FMCSA was relying on the AAMVE, which is the American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators, to implement and come up with a plan supposedly to get more truck drivers in a truck and supposedly for safety. You know, they made this initiative on one point believing that there is a trucker shortage. I don't know how many times I have to say this in people's faces. We do not have a trucker shortage right now. If anything, it is a retention problem. It's a paying problem. They're screwing us so bad. Owner operators in the business can barely make any money right now. So how the heck is there a driver shortage? Sorry about that rant, but let's get back into this. So they make up this initiative and they pretty much say that their goals is one is overview of proposed vehicle inspections or review of proposed basic control skills, pilot testing in Jacksonville, Florida, pilot testing in Concord, uh, New Hampshire, and this was in October 1st of 2019. Mind you, we're in January of 2024 and states are actually implementing which what was in this PowerPoint. So let me go over this with you because this is pretty much what they used here, right? Uh, they said their objective here was to revise the AAMVA CDL testing system to more closely align with the industry standards and training practices, produce a revised test model that will maintain the higher standards of evaluating whether an entry level commercial driver has the required technical knowledge and skill to safely operate a CMV and improve test administration effectiveness and efficiency. So the last one is the one that I think they're really trying to do here is approve the efficiency. I guess they were probably failing too many people. And so they say their core project goal on this was safety of drivers and general public. I say, yeah, right. Basic skills ensuring drivers have entry level skill sets of licensor to enter the industry. Technology create a test model that remains both valid and reliable in fast changing technological environment, meaning that now there's a lot of smart systems in the CMV. So they want to introduce that. Uh, rigid flexibility and entry level testing system with rigid standards that's flexible enough to adapt to change. Here's the big one right here. They want to give uh, these participants a draft score sheet. You know, I'll screenshot this and put that in there for you guys to see. But basically, it's almost like a study guide sheet that you could use for your pre-trip inspection. Uh, we all remember in the past that you had to memorize that thing. 
Now it looks like there's going to be a study guide that you can actually physically have with you so that you could check off and go through it. You know, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing to have this study guide cheat sheet draft checklist, right? Is it pretty much getting people not prepared and going through the motions and so they could pass people faster? You know, what are your thoughts about that? I thought that was really interesting. I'll put some screenshots of this so that you guys can see it. You know, it says here, what's the same? Much of the vehicle inspection is the same, replaces the current vehicle inspection. A much of the scoring criteria with some enhancements to the examiner manual, score form layout and marking the score form and automatic failures is what's the same. Now they say, what's the difference? Uh, it's in the vehicle inspection, like we talked about, fewer items, focus on safety criteria items. Driver, vehicle inspection checklist, driver's manual now include description and why inspect rationale. So you, you're gonna go up to this and it's gonna have a checklist of it and you're just gonna go and point you know, is this going to make drivers dumber, right? Uh, drivers, examiners, manuals will be in sync on criteria. Uh, drivers will be required to describe what they are inspecting and may include why they are inspecting it. Four parts, air brake check, revised hydraulic brake check, revised uh, coupling system criteria, other revised scoring criteria, calculated number of items missed. So, you know, this checklist, I think, is the big one. You know, the second big one is the basic control skills that they're proposing. So there's going to be four maneuvers and one was the forward stop straight line backing. So you're just going to go forward in straight line. And then uh, the next one is going to be uh, so forward stop straight line backing forward offset tracking so you're going to go and offset and reverse offset tracking and those are the four you know i'm going to put screenshots of that so that you guys can see it so pretty much the alley dock and the parallel uh that hasn't been in the game in a while but i still think that's wrong because how many times have you had to go to a shipper and do an alley dock Right. And when you're parking once in a while, you might have to do a parallel. But the alley dock, I think, was a really big one. So why are they taking that out and making it basic? You know, if I were to say for myself, I truly think it's the future of automation where, you know, these self-driving trucks won't be able to do these alley dock maneuvers. They can only do these basic maneuvers. So that's what they're leading to. If not that, then they're just making, to my opinion, less skillful drivers in the future, right? Because every day in my life when I was driving a truck, I would have to do a alley dock so many times. So why is this not on the test, right? So overall, it's just one of those things where I want to go through this with you guys and give you guys this information. But the biggest thing is, you know, it seems like with this tr checklist, and uh, pre-tripping, uh, less items, you know, it, it just seems like they're not looking to make more skillful, safer drivers. They're looking to make robots, right? And making the test easier. And I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing. You know, my truckers, what are your thoughts? You know, as somebody that might not have experience and jumping into getting your CDL, you might think this is a leg up for you because now you can kind of use this study guide checklist cheat sheet. But I don't know, it's it's crazy. So at the end, what's the difference when it comes to the skill test? Uh, uh, basic control skills, forward stop box, forward offset tracking, scoring clearance on forward offset tracking, scoring backups on forward moving exercises, reverse offset tracking versus parallel and alley dock and much smaller footprint. So, you know, just like we just talked about, right? And so I think the parallel and alley dock is one of the biggest things in this game. You know, they've been piloting this out in uh, Florida, uh, New Hampshire, and they've been doing all this in the last few years. But now Georgia and states like Colorado are implementing this and they're modernizing these tests. So are the people coming out of this state going to be less skilled and less safe on the road? You know, my truckers comment down below. Just want to give you this information here. But yeah. This is the direction that they are going. You know, let me know what you guys think.